Hello world. Homework four, part two. So this is diving into something a little bit different from what we've been used to with our homework uh, requirements. Uh, what I'd like everybody to do here is experiment a little bit with the vr.vex.com website. If you look at back at some of my previous videos, I've gone over a couple of basic autonomous robots so far, but I think it'd be beneficial for everyone just to get a little bit of familiarity with this platform. So this platform allows you to do what we've become a little bit accustomed to with the VEX IQ system is the drag and drop blocks programming. Now this is very basic in comparison to some of the higher level Python programs we've done that are text based. But what I'd like to be able to do is start making use of this virtual environment and experiment with some of the drag and drop block code as well as do the same type of a program on Python. If we can take advantage of this block system and get a visualization on this playground, the virtual robot, then we can take and transcribe a lot of that same stuff right into Python and export that into our Raspberry Pi systems and start driving around actual real life robots. Uh, my goal is to make it so we can have a tank robot for everybody and start doing some interaction in the real world while we're all logged into our Raspberry Pis. Should be a pretty fun experiment. But first, I'm just going to show how some of this works. I imagine a lot of you guys will be able to grasp this pretty quickly and pretty easily. Uh, so I'm going to run through this here pretty quick. So first thing, I'm just going to take and drag a uh, drive forward. So what this allows you to do is drive forward. You can choose forward or reverse. And then you make a decision on how far you want it to go. As far as I understand, each block in this virtual world is 200 millimeters. And I'll bring up this virtual world just so we can see this here. So they call this the playground. You have basically like it's a large VEX IQ board that you can drive your little robot in. So this down here in the bottom left hand corner is your robot. Uh, it has a couple different sensors built onto it as well as a standardized drive base with rubber wheels as far as I can understand. Unfortunately, we cannot edit yet the robot that we have here, but we can do a lot of interesting things with it. And I've had a couple different videos I've put up with that and expect to be doing more. So I'm going to continue on with my drag and drop programming. So I'm going to drive forward for 200 meters or 200 millimeters. I'm going to change that and just throw down a thousand. Okay, so now I'm driving down a thousand millimeters. I'm making a right turn. So I'm going to drag this right turn. I can choose left or right here. So then I'm choosing 90 degrees. And then I'm going to take and grab another drive forward. Drive forward. So I am going to do 500 for this one. Okay, so I've turned right now. Uh, 90 degrees after going forward 1,000 millimeters. Now I'm driving forward for 500 millimeters. So I'm going to drop another turn right, 90 degrees. And then I'm going to do another drive forward, 200. And then just for the sake of it, another turn right. So if I've gone forward, I've turned right once, so I'm facing to the right. Turn right again, I'm facing back towards me. Turn right again. I'm facing to what our view now is to the left. So if I do another turn right after I drive forward again, it should be basically facing straight ahead of where I'm at. So I'm going to go forward a little bit, make sure it clicks in here, and do another right turn just for funsies. And then I think what we can do is drop pen marker down so this is kind of a cool little thing um, built into this in virtual world is a robot pen so what that allows you to do is to move this pen up and down so as you're driving around in this code you can move your pen up and down and you can change the color of what you want that pen to be drawing so as you're driving around you can leave a trace mark uh, what's cool about that is you can start using the code then to start writing things out on the board. So as you drive around, I can actually write. You can do different things uh, within this code to say, uh, write out your name or just your initials if you wish. There's a lot of fun stuff that you can do with this. So it does seem like a little bit of a simplistic drag and drop programming type of system. Uh, so I don't want you to get too bored with it, but there are a lot of cool things that you can do. And this does help you visualize a program as you're working through it. 
And it could even be beneficial to do this drag drop and figure out some stuff on your programming side of things before we drop it into something a little bit more complex, like with the Python programming with just a text editor. So I've got this very basic program here. And quite honestly, if you do not want to do this exact program for your homework for part two, you could choose to do anything else. I just want to make sure everybody jumps in and starts experimenting with this a little bit. So I'm going to run this program here. So I take the top down view and you can see here I have all of this information. So it should show me all of my sensor data. Now this button here above the camera view, you can actually choose to make that stuff go away or make it visible. I like having it out there just so you can see what everything sees. And then you also have the ability to hide that playground as you're working on the program or make the view a little bit smaller. Okay, so I'm going to run this program here. And you can see it just drives forward. It'll do my 90 degree right turn. Drive forward 500. And now it's going to start doing that pen. So you see it's just doing a little bit of drawing as we're going around. Pretty basic setup there. Uh, so what we've done here is just a, basically a quick little box. Uh, you can do a lot of different stuff as opposed to 90 degree turns. You can do a 45 degree turn. You can do a lot of different fun things here. So I'm going to, for example, just stop this program, hit reset. I can change all these as far as how I want to turn. I can change that just by filling this in. So there's a lot of fun stuff that you can do here to make a little bit of a difference on how the robot's going to drive around. And we can manipulate that here and just kind of screw around with stuff. So I'm going to hit play again. It's going to run this new program with just a new different variables in here. Driving that forward 1000. And suppose on a 90 degree turn, I did a 4 to 5 there. And now it's drawing. Turn right again. And that's it. So it's pretty basic. Hopefully uh, you guys can have some fun with this. and You can rerun this program continuously. And there are some different playgrounds that you can screw around with here. So as opposed to just the grid map, there's a lot of different stuff you can do. We can start getting into some of this stuff for decision making processes. Um, but it, this is a pretty cool little system. They just released this uh, VRVEX.com system. And it's a nice way for people to do some work from home since we're all kind of stuck at home right now anyway. So you can utilize the internet and do some learning, uh, do some programming, and then we can start transcribing this drag and drop block code over to Python stuff and start doing some other stuff in our future products. But hopefully you learned something, and I look forward to seeing you in class.